unfortunately, Mr. Swazi never brought was an ear, not one ear, but two, and was actually open to hearing from the community as far as how to solve issues within that community. And I think that's sort of what, what, what's been the issue. So what we would like is, you know, after your screening process, whatever individuals, you know, you, you sort of would like to go through that process, kindly send them this way. Um, and, and at the end of the day, and at the end of the day, I mean, you, you know, you can inform Fred ahead of time. Um, <laughs> um, and, you know, and, and, you know, just, uh, just sort of a, an, another piece of advice since, you know, people have lent their advice is this would be a showing as far as respect for a community. Mm -hmm. This would be a showing because while you don't know everyone's bio in this room and, you know, again, the, the personal connections you may have we were able to move people that didn't come out and vote for presidential elections. And it was these individuals that were able to do that. And we didn't do it for, for a dollar bill. We didn't do it because we were sour. The bulk of us, the bulk of us, the bulk of us did it because we really care about our community. And, and on that note, another thing that I'd like to sort of encourage you to do is you have a body of elected officials, particularly the ones of color that you mentioned, that are much too silent on way too many issues impacting our community. Mm -hmm. And so part of that frustration that the community is dealing with <coughs> has to do with this idea of those individuals are not fighting for our interest. Whose interest are they fighting for? Sure. So with, with those two pieces, I think that your caucus needs to have a meeting and you need to meet with them and let them know what you heard today. And then I think that, you know, that second piece would be, you know, sort of, you sending, you know, sending us whatever candidates and, and, and really thinking about this collective. And there's one thing we know that, you know, we don't want any group to have any supermajority, regardless of who they are, because it's way too much. And what we know is that, I mean, I really, I really don't think we would have a, 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 an issue taking our communities, because if we did what we did in three, four weeks, I can only imagine what we could do with two months, 90 days, whatever it is. 70, 17 days. So, you know, if we, were, if we, if we had a little bit of time, you know, it, it would be an interesting sort of exercise, but I think that it would behoove anyone to really think about what we're doing here and the reason why this invitation was extended and why you were welcomed here. And that's really the process. We want representatives to represent us. So I hope that we and can, just that one, we can count uh, to on add that. one thing, what Sergio has said is the voices of TCC go beyond the geographical limits that have been uh, defined. While Corridor is coming out of these six communities, the voices of TCC go way beyond it to all over Nassau County. I want to be very clear that the power of TCC should not be underestimated. Because we do have, what's the name too, for sure, designing. Yes. 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 Jay, yes. Jay, perhaps, That's nice perhaps, perhaps what we can do, it, if I can try and bring us back back in, in to, to close us up. And you, you spent time here. Um, there have been some heated debate. There have been some answers that, frankly, I was surprised that, that we didn't get an answer to and, and some, some, some questions, but that, and, and some questions that weren't properly phrased, perhaps. Mm -hmm. But one of the things that's real clear is, is that right now, one of the things that's on our radar scope is also on your radar. Legislative District 2. We have already begun a process. We have had five people in communication with each other because we do it a little differently. We tell the candidates, you talk to each other. Because after you talk to each other for an hour or two, <coughs> some of y'all are going to just step aside. Because you know if you're interested in what's in the best interest of the community <coughs> and what makes sense, you're going to step aside. And we have a certain level of confidence that that's going to happen. But we're suggesting to you from this body that when we come together and do our process, we are going to make a selection somehow. And we may not leave here until they send the white smoke up the... the <laughs> <laughs> right. But we're going to make a, a selection. It is the hope of this body, and we're speaking to you now as the chair of the Democratic Party, that we not yet be ignored. Because what has made a determination, I'm looking at all the eyes in this room, I'm not looking at anybody's lap, or I'm looking at the eyes in this room. We made a determination that whatever we got to do to make sure that the thing that's done in the best interest of our community, strategically, politically, whatever it is, we're going to take that mantle. It may mean the defeat of somebody else, mm -hmm. but if it's in the best interest of this community, we're going to do it. 
And that's not a threat or anything. That's just really the what we've decided to do because people have committed. We ran that campaign this summer. Ask what type of budget we had. <laughs> Zero. Because people did what they had to do. People, people bled. I, there's some room, people in this room I bled with. Literally. That we, literally. To make sure it happened. And it's that <laughs> important to us for the community's sake. Because up until this time, there's not been a group that didn't have its own interest in mind that was involved. TCC doesn't care damn about getting government dollars. I will tell you that, and we've had that discussion before. Yes. You can take your budget and shove it. The reality is, is that we care about what happens to the next Ahmed, or the next Jamal, or the next uh, Serena that comes up through our community, and what's going to happen with our grands. And if the people that are elected are not dealing with that, they're going to have to deal with TCC, because the court accounts. Well, I, 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 say, yeah, I just want to say I thank everybody. I know this was a very engaging uh, <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I came for. I didn't come for it to be light. I didn't expect it to be, uh, you know, a, a dance. I, I, and I did, and I, I do want you to know that I did listen, and I did hear, and I do appreciate it. I will tell you, you will not be ignored, because I don't, I don't tend to want to ignore any constituency group of the Democratic Party, and you are a constituency group of the Democratic Party, if you think so or not. I believe you are. I'm not going to tell you here, I'm not going to make a commitment to you that your recommendation is going to be taken. I'm going to say it's going to be considered, and that's what our obligation is. I want to find the best person. I want to find the best person for this community. I want to... Uh, make sure that we can uh, continue together. If we can't, we can't. I mean, that's the way life goes. But I'm going to do what I can on my end. I have an elected body in the county committee and its representatives. Uh, they do represent you know, people in the community as well. And I'm going to be relying on some of their judgments also. We will have our screen. Again, yours being at 6, 7 o'clock, a good chunk of ours you know, will be uh, done before. No decision is going to be made. Um, for a couple of days after screening. We don't make our decisions uh, at screening. We make, they, they'll make some recommendations. And then those will go to the uh, executive committee. That's how it's done uh, in total. Executive committee making up the elected leaders in the second LD, as well as the uh, larger executive committee that I mentioned. The, the okay. <clears throat> and that's how that will be. But I will most certainly uh, give it you know, fair consideration. And I look forward to seeing some really good candidates. But I thank everybody here, and I look forward to coming back again. Now, before you go, I don't want you to throw anybody into the bus, your staff. But a lot of things people are saying that sometimes not getting back to you. If that's the case, you really.